the windy, you damn son. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, just a minute. I know you don't, are you? Yeah, you're the meat fella. Yeah, I, hey, that meat I bought off you the other day, it was dodgy. I mean, I wanted loin, and you gave me shank. Look at that. Yeah, I want my money back. Yeah, whatever, Grandad. Hey, this is my big day, you cheating dog. What big day is that, then? They're sorting your DTs out, are they? Oh, DTs? Yeah, I am going to be signing copies of my autobiography. Yeah, look at that. The life and times of a gentleman boxer. Eight pounds ninety nine a pop. So I want my money back. Yeah. Well, there's no refunds without a receipt. All right, Grandad. Oh. <coughs> You're a loser. Loser! Oh. 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 Yeah, be careful! I've only got one lung. What? It's me, a defenseless old dear. There's you, all your life ahead. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know the wounded party here. You will be, mate, if there's a single mark on my horse. You breathe a word and you're dead. Oi! I state that. Put a bit on your injuries, you. And don't come back. Right. Who else? Who else is gonna fight me? Who else is gonna help me? I'm all on my own, am I? Good! This is Dooley. Dr. Clay. That's a lie about the lung. Yeah, well, it's a pointless lie to tell your own doctor. Well, well, I was angry. I'm still angry. You should have been concentrating. You think a doctor would have more sense? Haven't we talked before about your evil can evil tendencies? Oh. I should have finished you off when I had the chance. No, I can't. Oh, come on! Well, no, I'm, I'm assuming you have insurance because I'm need to claim. <laughs> and to think that he's my doctor! <laughs> We won over a hundred fights. Only lost a dozen. I nearly was heavyweight champion. I nearly won the European heavyweight title of Carl Mildenberger. And the people of Sheffield nearly arrange a civic welcome for me. Ready for the guy? Feeling awkward, are we? Feeling responsible? Feeling judged by the public? I'm on my lunch break. I was planning some peace and quiet. <laughs> you won't get any peace in that place. Get yourself down a wine bar. Sink a few. Live a little. I'm going for a coffee. What if you came with me? Oh, I don't do coffee. Coffee makes me go. Well, how about tea? Do you do tea or does it make you go too? Coffee makes me go ones and twos. Now, tea... I could drink till I split. Tea it is, then. Thank you. Hello, Mickey. Here again. <clears throat> Bernie Woodson. Ah, oh, Mr. Woodson. Oh, they love me in here. I mean, I keep trying to escape, but they'd have nothing to do. <laughs> Breach the peace again. Yeah, I'm supposed to be signing copies of my book. Uh, and they pulled me in here for my own safety. I saw you speak once at a police do. You talked about Galileo. <laughs> when you're a fighter, I mean, people think you're thick. I mean, let's face it, I mean, I look thick. I mean, I mean what are you going to do for 40 years? Get yourself a library book or two. Or get yourself some culture. I mean, I know more than most men will ever know. Galileo, Goya, Gurdjieff. <laughs> yeah, I've only got as far as G. 
You okay? Can I get you anything? Oh, I could murder a drink. I think the bar's closed. What are we going to do with you? No, oh, nothing. I, I don't want any help. To bottomless perdition, there to dwell. John Milton. Perdition? Spiritual ruin. What's this, self-pity? No. No, the pursuit of oblivion. Yeah. Ah! Doing compiling a gallery of the wounded. Evidence. <laughs> oh. No. Not now. Because I'm taking tea with my lover. Oh, I'm sorry. Have I misinterpreted the signals? Yeah, carry on like this, and I'm off. Not my knee teas then. But you are a good-looking boy. Stop it. Have you got a girlfriend? You're terrible. <laughs> that was my daughter, Irma. She's coming to take my wheels away, punishing me for being a safety hazard. You're not the first person I've hit today. You're the third. What happens if you ended up killing someone? How would you explain that in court? I'll turn on my sweet old lady oh. act. You can't carry on like this. I'll be giving you your own key. I should be signing copies of my books. I should be proud. I should be dancing. Every morning I wake up, it's always dark. Dark in my head. That's what I deserve. Oh, come on. Your books out. They'll be begging for you to do boxing do's. Look at me. I'm a drunk in a cell. You need to go home and get some sleep. The sleep of reason brings forth monsters. Who said that? Goya, a Spanish bluff that I drink with. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't panic. I'm holding on. I'm not headbutting. Oh. Mickey? You can't see me, can you? Who said that? <laughs> you can't see anything, can you? Uh, when it comes and goes like a, a dimmer switch, I got what I wanted. What's that? Damnation! <laughs> hey! Ho! Oh. Uh, horse up the west. It's not the ones with engines. The ones with bad guys called Jake, one-eyed and mean. They fight the sheriff to the death because they will not go to jail. You're not listening. I don't know what you're talking about. My Irma, she's the sheriff. Her and her wacko husband, Roy. They want me in a home. The clock's ticking away and there'll be blood in the dust. Yeah, except that this is Leatherbridge. Same principles apply. Did you ever see Easy Rider? Well, I'm Peter Fonda. If he was old and wore a skirt. What's the matter? <laughs> Scared of my own daughter, imagine that. She always gets her way. She'll make me a prisoner if she wins. Old people die when their wild days are over. Well, maybe she'll see reason. That bloke by the counter. I nearly killed his dog on Tuesday. Told him I'd have my son on him. He's a proper monster. I'm not your son. You are as far as he's concerned. That's stopping on a bit. Yeah, a man might lose his dignity, but he can still hang on to his ham. Who said that? Go ahead. <laughs> You're taking things too seriously. Here. Here we are. Here, Ronnie. Yeah, here's a keepsake for you. Yeah. No. Come on, I'll drop you home. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm between accommodation at the moment. Oh, no, my sister, she kicked me out. 
Is it night or day? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Well, let me help you. OK, but don't confuse it with pity. Did you really nearly kill that man's dog? Well, what's one less mangy dog in the world? <laughs> You're a terrible person and you won't go to heaven. Oh, heaven's full up with old people. I'm on, I'm on the list for hell. Oh, shame you're going. Oh, you haven't fought that bloke yet. Look, promise me you'll give up this madness. No. Oi! What are you doing? Big boy! This is that son of mine I told you about. She, uh, said she's sorry about the dog. Oh, yeah, the dog died. Oh. Well, I was glad to be shut of it, you know. Oh. Your mum should get a chauffeur. Yeah, I'm always telling her. Hey, do you want to buy some meat? This is my friend Mickey. Yeah, is there someone we could see for a chat? Uh, look, if this is not the Ritz, then let's be good. Uh, it's a health centre. I thought maybe we could have you looked at. No, no, look, look, I, I haven't been near a doctor for years. I mean, they tried to stop you ruining your health. Well, you should have a chat about your eyes. Look! I know you're trying to help, and you're a good bloke, but I'm sick of people messing with my business. I, I mean, I want to fight. You get knocked about. I mean, you, you, your brains are rattled in your box. It's the territory, and your eyesight suffers. You get by! I mean, what's it got to do with you? Well, like I said, I'd like to help. Why? Because you're Revel Beckett. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. You think I'm Doolally, don't you? I think you're defiant, and I think you owe me five quid for this piece of that man's dog. You saying I'm a liability? No, prove otherwise. I will not have my freedom taken away from me, and if that means bending the odd rule, so be it. Yeah, hence the roadkill. This is like their film, uh -huh. Heat. Which one are you, De Niro or Pacino? <sighs> Pacino, you're a troublemaker. Yes. Well, what's the alternative? Drooling and gaga. I'm a fighter. All I'm saying I'm is... I'm not listening. I'm off to terrorise pensioners in the park. Doris, no, 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 I'm not listening. I'm listening, I'm listening. Hello. with the meat. <laughs> Come here. Is your mate? You are joking. This is Mickey Rebel Beckett. The fighter? The legend. Well, you were really someone. I was trouble. Still are, according to the press. You're a one-man Wild West. Will you take a look at him? His eyes the one soap. Okay. I'll be outside. Mm. Yeah. All right, do you want to tell me what happened? Yeah. Uh, whatever happened, I deserved it. I mean, do you believe in damnation? I guess I do. All I want to do is go to hell, get this damn mess over with. Booze, blindness, being beaten to a pulp down a dark alley. Whatever it takes. You can't believe that. It's not about belief, it's about deserve. Your sight? Oh, I've been going blind for years. I mean, it gets less and less. I mean, it's no big deal. Are you registered blind? <laughs> I'm registered nothing. Well, how much vision do you have exactly? Uh, it fades away. It's almost gone. Of course, uh, uh, I could see better if I wasn't blind drunk. Blind drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it uh, could be a glaucoma or detached retina, but you have to have it checked out properly. 
But you don't want to do that, do you? I don't want people telling me what to do. Will you excuse me for a minute? So I'll go on then. No, he's not willing, he needs help. I mean you. What is Mickey Rebel Beckett? Come on. Think about what you're doing here, Ronnie. About what you're taking on. Never mind the blindness, he wants to die. But when you think about what he's done, who he is, it's the real deal. Can yeah, someone say he's an old drunk holding an old ham shank and he's a danger to himself? Well, he shouldn't be. He should be heroic. I want to help him, he matters. Right, well, you'll have to see a specialist. If only to get him in his lunch at my office. That night, I put Danny Jakeman down in the fifth. The championship was mine. Jakeman was a good and brave fighter, a hero of mine. After the fight, I went to talk to him. He was in a bad way. We hugged like brothers. It was the last time he would fight. I never saw him again. He died two years later, and I gave the reading at his funeral. He was a true gentleman and a hero to this day. He can barely see anything, you know. What a way to end up. From heroic to despair. I'll make him that appointment. Just a minute, I'm going hands free. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm a sweetheart, yeah. How about the Hall Street Cafe? <coughs> It'd be lovely to see you. And Roy. Oh dear, another one of his garden injuries. Oh, what shame. See you at five, and don't come turning up like a horse thief. Can't talk now, fast lane, M4. Bye bye, you, ma. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that bloke, he didn't like me. Uh, he lacks romance. Yeah, being sick all over his shoes might not have helped. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, as long as I keep out of a pub. Best behaviour. Scouts are there. I'll come and find you. No, there's no need. About the specialist. Look, look, I, I don't want any appointments. Well, tough. You have one. Oh, all right. Look, uh, there might still be time for me to sign some books. Uh, I'll be seeing you. All right, mate. Well, uh, how are you diddling? I've been better, and I've been worse. Yeah, I mean, uh, do I know you because? My eyesight's not what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm just going for a drink. Are you going for a drink? What, the pub? Oh, I could murder this thirst. See, uh, I, I was going to sign some... Uh, go to the bookshop there and, and, and sign some books. I've not read a book since I was at school. <laughs> the wasteland, do you know it? Know it? I live in it. <laughs> hey, if you were five, fan. Yeah, I am. Actually, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours. Eh? Yeah, you've got good taste. Look, lead me to the nearest pub. Come right. on, Sonny. That's it. <laughs> not so fast, not so fast. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. <laughs> Sugar. Ray Robinson is the best pound for pound fighter who ever lived. Sugar Ray! <laughs> you know, they, they said that he could dance like Nijinsky. <laughs> Imagine that. But, uh, 
you've heard of Faust. Faust? Faust's only got one hour to live. Yeah, fast impact and and, and, and all that. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Like so and all that. Are we having another? Yeah. Come on, come on. I'll get another round. Come on. Here we are. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know you? Uh, you know, just from around and about. This yeah. pub, that pub. No, but hey. You're the meat bloke. You know, you're thinking of my brother. Yeah, yeah, I, I said earlier that I bought this meat off you. I want my money back. Give me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that money back. I was born under a wall. I was born a... Am I? Oh, no. My eyes are all sad. Oh, my little tiny nose. Doris? Mother. Oh. To the point, Mother. Well, I had a little upset. What the hell happened? Where's that death trap of yours? Bit of a run-in with the Roadhog gang from the bingo. What the hell do you think happened? Someone torched my horse. Wait, will you try? It was like a Viking funeral. Right, that's it. This evening, I'm taking you to look at this retirement home. You'll be safer there. No more of these silly accidents. If you're an old lady, get used to it. Oh, I want you to listen to me, Mother, for once. You can't look after yourself anymore. The best place for you is... You did it, didn't you? You torched my trike. Oh, don't be silly. I wouldn't put it past you. That garden gnome you made put you up to it, didn't he? I'm helpless without that trike. No, you're not. No, she isn't. Oh, you dirty splitter, you should be struck off. Oh, look, why don't we just go for a cup of tea, the three of us, and we can sort this mess out. You don't get it, do you? Neither of you. I'll fight to keep my freedom. The sands of time are running out. I will not go to that valley of death, Irma. The hell with you and your prison. You are a devious old lady. And oh. if you weren't my mother, I'd wash my hands of you. You are washing your hands. I will die if you put me in a home. I will, I will die like your father died. I will not die, Irma. I refuse to die. Oh, stop it! I've had enough! Can't you see that I'm worried about you? No, no Irma. Oh, Irma. What are you staring at? This is a different leather bridge from the one I thought I lived in. It's me! It's Mickey! Friend of yours? Come on, come on, Bob! He's doing a book signing. Mickey? It's me, Ronnie Woodson. Oh, no. Not twice in a day. I heard about what happened. You'll be in the papers again. No, this is etching by Goya. Bats and demons attacking a tormented man, and he's possessed. That's you, is it? I used to be a fighter. Had a long, long time ago. And for 40 years, I've been nothing. Now I'm tired. Glass half empty. Glass smashed to pieces. I read that passage, though, in your book about your love for that boxer that died. Danny? I hate Danny Jakeman. I killed Danny Jakeman. It took him two years to die, but it was me that did him in. You were a hero. Whoa, the noble art! You're very naive! Mr. Woodson, I killed a man with ease, and you wonder why I'm damned. What can you see? Nothing. Head full of knives. 
What do you want to do? Uh, this specialist. Yes. <laughs> Let's go and see him, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. I won't be tamed, Irma. I don't want to go into her home. I know. Well, perhaps I could come and st stay with you. Maybe. We... We could try it if you promise to behave. I'll, I'll play my records ever so quietly. And what about Roy? Well, uh, I'll teach him things. What sort of things? Oh, uh, rug making, poker, five car stud. I get hold of you. I thought you were avoiding me. The results of the urine test show that you are pregnant. I want to give a child a home. Any child, be it disabled or with problems. Even if I meet someone, it's not going to last. Why not? Because it's not just my legs that don't work. Would you like to go out one night? I thought you'd never ask. Matt Allwright and his sidekick Dan hit the road tonight on BBC One in pursuit of the rogue traders. That's at 8.30.